Hi, this is Brian Cantoni, and this is a quick video showing how I'm backing up from my blog to Box using a service called Mover.io. So Mover is a relatively new service that enables you to either migrate or backup data from and between different cloud services. If we take a look at the connectors list, they've got a bunch of different services like Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, and even services like FTP, which is what we're going to use in this example. So if I switch over to my Mover account, we're going to create a new transfer. So we'll start by picking a source. And I'm going to add an FTP source. And what I've done is I've created a, an FTP account already for my web host to pick up my uh, backup directory. So it's going to be plain FTP. I'm going to put in my username and password and add the connector. So it's just confirmed that that's working correctly. Now this is a directory I have on my web host with backups, periodic backups of several different databases. So what I'm going to do is pick that whole tree and then for my destination I'm going to pick my box account which I already have established so I don't need to log in there and we'll put it under a new folder under backups called BAK. So now we'll select BAK. I'm going to go ahead and set this up on a schedule. So I'm going to have the option to do incremental only and we'll just have it do daily and I'll pick a time and save it. That's it. So now I actually have two different ones that run. I already had one running that at 4 o'clock picked up my entire web directory. Now at 6 o'clock it's going to pick up the BAK directory or the which I use for um, database backups. Those are both going to run. I can go and tell it to run this one now. And to show what it looks like if I switch over to my box account and look, for example, in my um, public HTML folder, everything that was brought in here is basically a mirror of everything on my blog. And if I look at the updates tab on the box interface, you can see on a daily basis the delta files, the changed files that are copied over. In fact, if I look at the top, I can see some of these MT files already coming in. Um, so this is because it's doing the backup job in parallel. So that's how it works. It's pretty straightforward. The way Mover works on the pricing is you basically pay for the bytes that are transferred. So I started my account with 10 gigabytes. It's pretty simple. They just charge a dollar per gigabyte and you can put more money into your account and it'll warn you as it works its way down. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at bcantoni and my website is at cantoni.org. Thanks.